Hey guys, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where I've got to say, last time I was left incredibly satisfied after building the space elevator. This time I intend to try and get all my uh, technology as far along as possible because we are in the, actually the last hour of legitimate gameplay. Yes, the uh, the test weekend key is going to get revoked in about 40 minutes, so uh, I've got I've got to I've got to try and really like nail down what we're doing here. The challenge that we are doing today is try to make these plates and these rotors, which thankfully last time we got the ability to make the assembler, which will uh, make all of this so much easier so so much easier so i am gonna go and slam down some machines hopefully making some uh some plates i need some reinforced iron plates and then also the rotors which are also going to be very interesting first step with this make some screws all right so screws are done also cubics come along and join me so that's pretty nice uh these three machines if we can get around this bush here these three machines are producing each 15 uh, iron rods per minute you can see right there which means there's 45 per minute going into this box there are a <laughs> steady stream coming out of here but it's only going to consume 15 per minute here so it only eats one machine's worth for screws now this might actually end up turning into a two machines worth i could definitely see me putting another constructor here but i think it's time to get the assembler into line and start doing stuff with these screws so that we can finally ah i need some concrete so that we can finally make those iron reinforced plates that we've been talking about for like ever all right so cubic has come in and he's like dude we need chainsaws i'm all right with that let's let's try and get some chainsaws together it looks like he's gonna go through and put all the, the parts together uh yeah that that sounds good chainsaws obviously not for that little shrubby thing but good for taking away oh i don't know say like this sort of bush <laughs> this this would be nice to get rid of be honest this this would be very nice to get rid of all right so i was just having a little bit of trouble here trying to connect this conveyor belt up to ah uh, it still says encroaching on other person's clearance oh, how come but the important thing was that uh cubic just came along and deleted the pole and it still floats up there i i don't get what that's about at all but now why isn't this working i'm also gonna do something a little bit crazy i'm gonna take this one down in a second uh looks like we only need five more plates let's let's just quickly do that should we i've i've got the plates let's make it let's make it quickly happen i can go over here double click that and hit the launch button and that should give us the chainsaws that we need and hopefully he's not gonna run through all my all my fuel but uh right i want to rip this down because i've got new things to do uh and we're gonna rip this conveyor belt down as well the iron plates on it will give me what i need because i am gonna send this all the way over there that is a terrible placement for it so we're going to bring this down let's think about this we're going to bring this down to about here i don't know if there's a way of turning them does not appear to be maybe i should have figured out some ways of putting pylons in okay there seems to be uh too much going on here we can definitely sort this out though let's hit the pylon button and try and figure out what we can do there are markers here i see him trying to put down some foundations let's let that happen uh, I, I don't know what he intends to do with our nut bush here. Ah, uh, we're just going to go over the top. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. And in fact, if we're doing that, let's uh, let's destroy all of this and put stuff down, shall we? Uh, let's put this one. Oh, I really want to be able to like go over this machine, but I've got a feeling I'm going to have to put it like here and turn it around that way and click. That that's not the up that I wanted. That's not the up that I wanted at all. Okay, so now that we've got these two storage boxes, one for iron plates up there, you can see, and one for uh, screws down here, I'm now going to put somewhere over here, still relatively accessible, but kind of sideways, this assembler. All right, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to now take a conveyor belt, and I want to, I want to, I want it to stay lifted. Okay, let's try the starters by taking this conveyor belt just straight to there, however it wants to go. I'm going to just let that happen. Uh, then this conveyor belt, well, I'd really like some way of scrolling this up and down, but it turns out that that is not a thing we're allowed to do. I've lost all my iron plates. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, but I was thinking that maybe if we use the pylon attachment, that's the power pole, that's not what I was after, this power attachment here, we could turn it around like that, bring it up one, maybe two layers. I, I think just one will do. Uh, and then we can press the button over here to get this. No, not this way. Not this way at all. Ah, oh, I'm out of plate. Always out. All right, thanks to Cubic Stellar work, we've got a second iron plate line on the go here. That's pretty good, taking full advantage of everything that's going on. I need a four 
five, six, seven plates just to finish off what I'm doing over here. So then we got conveyor belts into there and then we can set this one up to be a Reliant Reinforced Maker. Oh, beautiful. Now it's going to take a little while for everything to get come uh, through all of this, but that's fine. We can make things work like that. Let's get a little bit of power lines down here because that's going to be important. Does that not work there? There we go. Ah, cubic has got the uh, the chainsaw, so he's going to go around. Now, this does run on biofuel, but it clears the wood for us. Um, here, question mark. Uh, not, not question mark. Let, let, let's, let's bring him over. Let's bring him over. Stop. Stop this because he doesn't seem able to pick up leaves as in biome all right let's do some quick maths shall we this is producing about 30 per minute so we're getting about 60 per minute out uh, i should have like read the numbers over this way but let's go and have a look uh, right now i love that thing it's so majestic up there this is consuming 20 per minute so we should have 10 per minute filling up in there but you know players we eat a lot of, of uh, iron plates so we're gonna have to try and do something about that of course now will the 17 get me down oh, i don't have the concrete but can it get into there ah oh, cannot afford and the belt is too long okay let's try this again we're gonna take the conveyor belt out to a bow okay can't afford why not oh that's i'm guessing iron plates at this point. all right this is by nowhere near close enough to enough plates so i've grabbed myself a few things out of the box we seem to have no power at the biomass site it was working fine a second ago i have to find out what's going on there uh but i want to quickly just throw down this miner while i'm thinking about it else i will get totally distracted and never actually take advantage of the iron so if i put that there i will be back to find out what more i could do with that all right we just had a little power down let's have a look and see what's going on ah uh, over spike me Generators. Oh, so that's a little bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. We need to figure out how to make this work. It's not the fact that we've run out. It's we've gone over the top. So I need another generator around somewhere. That one's about to run out of biofuel as well. Uh, that's all right. We can figure this out. We can most definitely figure it out. I'm obviously going to just like wedge one in here in, a, in an awkward manner ah oh, no i'm not unfortunately oh can't afford that's all right can't afford is not a problem i thought that was going to say that it wasn't room ah. should be able to just connect on there that's three out of four that's not the best but it should work okay nothing in there to turn into biofuel okay more so much more biofuel needed Oh, so I've been out grabbing leaves, as I'm sure you can imagine why. But look at this thing. What is this? Why is this a new thing? Can I can I touch it? E to pick up the... Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. I've already found one of these on, during stream. What's it for? Who knows? It's, a, it's got a whip written next to it, so I should imagine at the moment it's for nothing. Okay, finally a machine that is also making more plates. Wow, that took a little bit longer to get to than I would actually have liked it to. But with the addition of a power line, that should now be extra plates. And I'm, I'm one more step away from having more extra plates as well. And that's going to be beautiful. Okay, here they flow. I've got my first iron reinforced plates coming along here. This should be uh, beautiful. If I remember correctly, we've got a few to do. Let's have a look. 75. Okay, that's, that's actually a lot. I don't know if we've even got 75 in the system right now. Ah, uh, no. No, we don't. We've got whatever this is, and this looks to be maybe 20, something like that. But hopefully this will just carry on ticking over. I have literally just built a new system for making iron plates over there, which will feed into this as well. Come on, uh, little machine. I want to I want to show the people that are watching that this feeds into here. So if we enter the configure, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Now we just need to do the same, but for rotors. Aha. All right, so we need to pop down an assembler here because we want this to make rotors. I'm going to put it next to this bad boy and see uh, if it works out. That's far too forward, but whatever, whatever. I do not care what well, I kind of do, but we're going to pop that down there. Iron rods and screws. Now, the screws can obviously come from here, but iron rods actually have to come from all the way back here. And Is this a merge or a split? This is a split. Beautiful, beautiful. So what we're going to do take this off of here and then go up towards the conveyor that way maybe we can do it like this yeah beautiful all right we'll go this way like 
Okay, let's throw a splitter on the line. Yeah, we'll take it. Beautiful. And thankfully, it's nice and flat, so we can then just move this over that way. All right, nice. And hopefully now, no power, of course. Of course, no power. I should have a nice line for powering this stuff over here, though. Uh, and I don't want to eat all of the power lines, so we'll pop that one over there. Maybe I could have put that somewhere a little bit smarter, but that's pretty cool. We got the power flowing. The rotors are being produced. The screws are probably going to end up being... The, uh, the slope, 132 per minute. We are not producing that many screws. Let's have a look in here. We are producing, in fact, 90 per minute. So uh, rotors are going to be uh, painfully slow. 120 are painfully slow. Well, painfully slow, it may very well be, but this is the last item we need for the space elevator. I really wish there was a, a hotkey for putting my zapper away. I don't need it right now, and I'd like to be able to pull it in and out pretty quickly. Uh, so 30 of 75 plates, 50, uh, 0 of 50 rotors, well, I suppose technically half. <laughs> yeah, let's see how this goes down, though. Oh, it looks like we're getting some actual buildings made here. Good plan, good plan. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Oh, it's the lookout tower. Yes, yes. What a great idea. All right, I need to figure out a way of getting these plates actually into a system. Is this not being powered? Is this not being... Uh, there we go. That's not being um, chosen for its item. Is it, is it running? Are we getting some stuff going on? Oh, this just looks like it's connected. It's not actually connected. Oh, let's just put that there because I did actually put it there for it. So that should now be that full flow. Beautiful. Ha! <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to go check that out. Hello, Cubic. How are you doing? Let's just quickly try and slam this down, which is what I'm trying to do here. It seems to be... Why is this telling me to go out? It's a merger. It's not a splitter. It's a merger. Look. Look, this one's going in. Ah, problems here. Okay, let's try it a little bit further down the line i am definitely not having the best time here look okay so in arrows in arrows three why won't you connect that's because i took it out of the wrong bit here oh i've been told to wait he's ripped up my power poles i'm wondering why i mean we don't really need to go up anymore there i'm not sure why he's doing so i mean if he wants to great but it's kind of stopping my power run well Ooh, quarter of an hour away from the end of end of our five o'clock timing. I mean, that was essentially what I'd done anyway. All right, cool, cool. Right, let's go and have a look at this pad, shall we? Up here, he has put us down a beautiful... Yeah, look at this, this observation tower here. I'm definitely going to make my way up here and have a look. Uh, really need to work on that current, current conveyor milestone. But look at this now. Just look at what we've done. This is outrageous. I am so impressed with us. So impressed. Slowly getting the floor down. I suppose that is very, very important. Uh, I would actually at some point envisage us like ripping everything down and just flooring over everything. I'm not sure whether that's a cool, cool play or not, but it is a play. Uh, and I wonder how the space elevator is doing. I can't see anything moving out the other side. Why is that giving us red flashing lights? Um... Let's go find out. Uh, it's because when you put the foundations down, the wires get ripped up for some reason. Not sure why, but that's cool. All right, conveyor walls are done, which I think is all about um, attaching conveyors to the walls, you know, sort of this sort of setup over here, uh, which I, I think's fine. That's, that's pretty nice. I suppose it saves this sort of monstrosity of a mess going on, but I also kind of like this monstrosity of a mess going on. Ah, oh, look, he's going to put a load of walkways in and stuff. This is nice. This is other parts of the games that we didn't really... <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on here? <laughs> okay, there we go. A nice, nice round walkway. I like it. I love it. I love it. Okay, we're starting to run out of time. My uh, computer clock tells me we have four minutes left until we are going to be booted from the game. I don't know whether we're actually going to be booted by the game. Trust me, I am going to be hanging on for as long as possible in some sort of vain hope that as long as I just keep the game running, it won't kick me out. In that case, I might just keep the game running forever. Okay, with this solitary rotor that is going across the conveyor belt, I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to dump this 50 that I've made in there. You can just wait. You can back up all you want. We also need some iron reinforced plates, hey? I thought this was going to actually be done by now, but it, it looks like Cubic's trying to expand our... Oh, is he trying to put stuff up there? Uh, wait. Second floor. Lots of exclamation points. What a plan! <laughs> this looks great. 
This looks amazing. Let's go up and have a look. I've, I've not actually been up and looked around. Okay, cool. The first thing I want to... Can we put biomass? We can. We can put whatever we want. Yeah, I wasn't aware that we could... Like, here we go. Let's try and put... Um, I don't know. So we could have, like, a whole floor of smelter see third person like Victoria. I suppose it is, actually. I suppose it is. Uh, yeah, we can um, put have, like, a whole floor of smelter. Oh, man. We could make, like, a... A factory building to rival the size of the space elevator. Ah! Uh, I we put the space elevator up on the second floor. That 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 would be that would also be pretty good. We would have to have like an absolute oh, bye, uh, absolute buttload of concrete to keep it turning. But that would be cool. Oh, ouch! All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on with what I'm supposed to be getting on with. <laughs> Uh, is 17 enough? No, it's 66. We're getting close, though. We are getting close. These are going to carry on feeding in as well, so that's going to be beautiful. Is he trying to merge in on the platform here? That's uh, not a terrible idea, but I think what we're going to end up with... Ooh, oh, yeah, like it, like it. I think what we're going to end up with is, unfortunately, still not enough stuff uh, being shipped through on the belts because the belts are pretty slow, it turns out. Uh, it was a bit of a shame, bit of a shame that that's the case. Uh, if we leave the game now, there's no coming back. I know, right? Okay, we made more by hand. Let's jump along and throw this lever. Actually, what I want to do is do it from the front edge. Can I jump through here? Can I? I can't jump through there. That's a little bit of a shame, but I could also see me getting like massively stuck inside the uh, complex mechanism if I did that. So I'm going to rip around here, uh, firing the elevator. Uh, just so that they know. I'm going to click that across there. And we're going to pull this down into the seal status. Okay, that's nice. It goes into... It's little capsule does it and then we press the seal and we go down to send and I'm going to pull back out of here and back up and see if they can actually watch anything go down like maybe the lights are flashing maybe that's something to do with it I didn't see that go beforehand pop pop is it going to send just like individual packets along or are we seeing are we done are we... is it actually done let's go and have a look at the <laughs> at the, the the outline here I kind of wanted to watch something go up if I'm to be honest yeah Yep, it's, it's done. I cannot really... Nothing went up. Nothing went up at all. All right, fine. Well, I suppose that's, that's so good. But I want to show you guys, finally, because it was, you know, for a purpose. Let's... I've got to say, that's a little bit anticlimactic. All right, so as I was just saying to, uh, to Cubic, now that we've put that stuff into there, if we come and have a look at the hub terminal, Tier 3 is unlocked. And look, we get, like tractors and scanners for coal and coal generation and then like mark two conveyor belts and stuff like that i mean like wow that is exactly what we're after look at this we haven't even done all of mark one. Oh look we can do this do that I can, I can do this with what i've got here let me just put that in there and hit the launch button let's get rid of that because man nut scanners it's definitely a thing you want okay so i'm gonna hit this coal power button and hopefully we get to do this uh, before we get... Oh, wait, it's officially past five. So uh, there is no coming back. No coming back. That's it. Jump pads. Yeah. Uh, also, coal and trucks. The trucks can be uh, programmed for driving and stuff. Not that I know exactly how to do so. When I was playing around with it a little bit last night, they... Uh, that was a little weird. A little weird. Oh, Cubic's getting some stuff done. Does he have? He does have. No, he doesn't. He only has uh, 166. Let's grab some more of this myself. All right, we did jump pads. All right, that's going to disappear now from us. All right. Uh, buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. I hear they are pretty deadly. Uh, let, let's see what he's going to do. with. Them. Oh, no. Is this it? Has it crashed me for no reason? Has it actually crashed me? Oh, that was quite the stutter. I really thought the game was going to crash me out for being uh, being past five o'clock. Okay, I think this is the last amount of stuff we need. Just kind of double click that in there and send that away. This is for gold power. What a beautiful thing. Uh, you know what, uh, Ada? I don't really need to know what you're talking about because I am about to explain it all. The thing that really really needs to be pointed out is the fact that we now have vehicles we've got a tractor and a tractor station these two obviously interact with each other in amazing ways so cubic has just dropped me this chainsaw here oh that was a little bit bouncy and i'm gonna go running after a tree just so i can show you guys exactly how this works here and hopefully it will be pretty good i'm just preventing power issues before they happen good shout so we just like pretty quickly just hold and cut Look at that. Leaves, wood, flower petals, all bunches of stuff from there. I think that is amazing. Another thing that I want to show you 
Uh, no, not that one. It's good, but I want this. It's the tractor. Let's uh, let's turn this around and put this somewhere a little bit more useful than where we're at. So we pop that there. Uh, not only can you drive the tractor, that's pretty good, but you come around the back here and you press E to open the workbench. Not only do you have a whole bunch of stuff for the vehicle, you got like holding pattern, uh, holding um, box, I suppose, would be good, and inventory. You've also got an entire, entire crafting bench there, which I think is just amazing. You can just kind of like poodle around with this. It's a great. Oh, Cubic's there being like, hey, what's going on? I don't know if he can jump on or what. Let's uh, let us let him have a drive, shall we? Let's jump off here. Uh, so this is pretty good. It's got uh, all sorts of, of uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? All sorts of AI issues. Uh, so uh, issues, AI possibilities. So we've got here, we can turn the autopilot on. We can start recording, hide path nodes. Uh, if we start the recording and then I just start kind of... A, driving away do you see the little little arrows back there that that's pretty cool that's pretty cool right and i reckon we can just drive in a nice round path something like this and then we go c finish recording beautiful let's try and stop this and then if we go again enable autopilot what's it gonna do can i, can I get off is it gonna do what i want it to do i don't know so autopilot is on. Do I have to give it a push? Do I have to let it know that it can do stuff? How about if I jump off? It says all... Oh, there, there we go. It's off. It's off and it's doing its round. Look how cool that is. With the power of the truck station, you can actually set up little loading and offloading points. That, that's good much for me there uh you can set up loading and offloading points you can walk go around in circles it does all sorts of uh, beautiful things i'm sure you can all see the wonders of the automation that is going on here oh look at that that is just just amazing all right and with the sun rising on a beautiful other day it's time for me and my friend Cubic here to have a look over all that we have done for these past three episodes. <laughs> Amazing what Wanda's going on. Remember when we just died with a single little miner on the on the thing? How did I break it by hand sometimes? That was a crazy. And now we have this crazy big expanding base with a bio burner that's out of fuel. We've got this this space elevator here to help us at, aid in the project foundation or found. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, aid in whatever project it is that the fix-it crew that actually want us to do here. If you would like to see this as an actual series when the early access comes out, let me know in the comments. I would really be up for it. Like, super, super be up for it. Is he flying up and over our stuff now? Look, he is, he is like, angling upwards to go up, up and over us. But I think with that, I'm going to say uh, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hehehehe <laughs>